wish if we lived closer together so we'd see more of each other. I remember when Richard got his cheek, that was the start of something good. He came to me and he said, Dad, I'd like to learn how to climb rocks. Could you teach me how to climb rocks with my cheek? And I said, sure, you can. I'll teach you everything I know. You'll be an expert. So I said, let's go. We went outside and got the cheek. And said, we'll start off slow. We'll climb some curbings. <laughs> so we drove around the neighborhood and climbed some curvings. The people come out and get the hell off my lawn. <laughs> so we found a, some low concrete block walls, climbed them, knocked a few blocks off, and nobody saw us and got away with it. And I said, you know, teach you everything I know, you know. The, the tree doesn't fall too far from the apple. <laughs> <laughs> so we went and we found some little rocks out of town and climbed them and I said, well, let's, or let's head back in. So we uh, went by a cemetery. Oh, come on. <laughs> and I said, why not? <laughs> so we drove down the cemetery and we started climbing tombstones. <laughs> And some of them were damn tough. We had to go on a four-wheel drive. <laughs> well, we worked our way through the cemetery, tipped over some stones. Nobody complained. Yeah. And we started back home. And we passed the street that had two Volkswagens on it. <laughs> and I said, Rich, turn around and go back. I said, let's climb them Volkswagen, Volkswagen, front or rear, rear or front. So we drove over to Volkswagen, and it turned out pretty good, you did a good job. And I said, maybe we can do them sideways. And he said, no, I think we'll tear them up to your damn bed. All that sheet metal work. So we gave up on those and uh, headed, headed back towards the house. And I said, well, you're ready for Johnson Valley. And a lot of you don't know where that's at, but it's the, it's the uh, climbing mecca of United States for rock cars. So we went out to Johnson Valley and they got all kinds of, they got rock, they did sledgehammer and, and jackhammer and, and uh, ball peen hammer and, and some say don't go there. We went there anyway. And he was doing pretty good. He had one little fall though where we got in some tough spots. He gripped that wheel, stared straight ahead like he was in a trance and just sit there. And I'd reach over and I'd bang him one in the ribs and I'd say, get on it. And he'd floor it and man, we'd charge through them rocks like they didn't exist. So I said, well, boy, you graduated. And since then, he's entered some competitive events and he's done damn good. Uh, I'm very proud of him. And Jay even joined us for a while with his, his Jeep and the family. But... Uh, I'm coming up on 85 in February, so if I can live till 90, all my kids will be senior citizens. <laughs> we already are. Well, this, is, this is kind of nice. It all turned out for, for, for Dave's birthday. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I kind of figured there was a little remuneration there somewhere. But uh, he's a musician of the family, of course. And, uh, we've got music in the family. My mother played classical piano, and, and Catherine's mother uh, sang, and her sister played piano. So some of that talent comes by. And, I taught Forrest how to sail a boat, so he went and bought a big one, keeps it down there in Florida, and every once in a while I go down and give him some lessons and we sail to the, to the Bahamas and the Keys, and he's become a pretty damn good sailor.
Well, that's about all I can think about our family. Oh, come on! It's been some fun years. And uh, I hope I can last a few more. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.